How's everyone doing today? So I want to thank Xtool for sending me their D8W scan tool for review compared to Bluetooth. But it's also way faster. The speeds on, on this, uh, on the communication between the VCI and the uh, scan tool itself is up to 64 megabit per second compared to the Bluetooth version that's 3.2 megabit per second. So, you know, if you have a lot of PIDs pulled up, you're going to have a lot of up, you're going to have quicker update rates with this scan tool compared to the BT or the D8 or even the D7. Uh, this scan tool, because it is Wi-Fi uh, VCI, it is DOIP compatible. That's diagnostic over internet protocol compatible, which is a high speed communication between the modules and the scan tool. Uh, cars started rolling out in about 2016. Uh, mostly European cars that, that was uh, D, DOIP capable and more and more manufacturers are going to be going to that because of the, the high speed interface between all the modules. Now uh, this is also CAN FD compatible for cars from about 2020 up, mainly GM cars. Um, it does support programmable module installation on Ford, Lincoln and Mazda which allows you to take an old module, write the data, the configuration data to the scan tool, pull it out, put a new module in. And when I say module, I'm talking about a computer, PCM, uh, the transmission control module, you name it, ABS module, whatever modules on the car, this scan tool will let you swap that out on a Ford Lincoln or, or Mazda. Uh, it has 8-in-1 graphing, of course, just like the D8, it's got three-year free update and two-year warranty. But the main thing we're going to do here, we're going to pull this thing out and we're going to compare it because uh, I think it also has more memory than the D8 or the D8BT. And uh, as you can see here in the picture, it looks like the layout uh, is different. So we're going to pull it out and we're going to give, give it a shot and see uh, how it works. It's also uh, Android 10 is the operating system. I think the D8 and the D8BT is Android 5.1. So, uh, a lot of people, they like those, you know, the newer Android. Now, I never had an issue with the uh, D8 or the D8BT being Android 5 or 5.1. Uh, to me, it's just an operating system. As long as the scan tool itself works, that's all I ever cared about. So, as with the regular D8 or D8BT, you get a nice black, or you get a nice case. I think the other cases were red or orange. This one's black. Of course, you're going to have a manual. Okay, so the VCI is a little bit different. You've got a Wi-Fi symbol here. A car symbol, that's on-off. That's usually an on-off button in the middle. The uh, the old VCI had a little uh, display with, a, uh, with the uh, voltage on it. Get some cabling. And of course, a brick. Uh, so it does look to be slightly different. Still got a kickstand, which is nice. It has an 8 megapixel camera. And let me get my DA BT. And you can see that it no longer has the serial port. Which there's no reason for that because I don't think it's even hooked up. I did a video showing using a cable with the D8BT to see if it would work. So if you want to see that video, uh, you can do a search for it and it should pop up. So let's turn this thing on. So I do want English. And there's all, look at all the Wi Fi. Uh, that's that's picking up. So I'm going to get this thing connected up to my Wi-Fi, so I can update it, and uh, we'll get it we'll get it going. Okay, so right off the bat, we've got us a uh, update for the uh, the actual operating system. Okay, so we're gonna I've got the uh, DAW updated. We're gonna check some uh, hardware specs and go through some of these settings and see what they're what they are now it looks to me like the uh, so when you look here at the the on the d8w the car icon 
where it says auto scan looks like it's the same thing as auto scan on the uh, regular DABT then you got spe the special function button I'm gonna go ahead and hit that I'm gonna hit that on both of them and looks like we got some I different icons uh, it's supposed to have 38 uh, what do we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 35, 36, 37, 38. So there's 38 special functions on the W, and it looks like there's 38 on the BT also. So special function-wise, it looks like they're, they're the same. So let's go ahead and go back. Um, report. Looks like the same same type of report diagnosis data playback data view now on the BT we've got diagnosis report playback file manager and data view um, and then of course we've got the update button if you go to more uh, on the BT we only have an endoscope option on the W we got profile BCI management endoscope and user manual so I'm going to go ahead and click the VCI management uh, because that is under settings on the BT. So it looks like we got uh, VCI connection, which we're about to go out to the truck and hook this up. And we'll do a real quick scan of the truck and uh, go through some of the features of this scan tool. And then we've got a self-test where you can hook it up, it looks like, to the scan tool and do a self-test. Um, so let's back out of that. Remote control, that's so that uh, XTool can remotely log in and help you troubleshoot your scan tool. We got settings. Uh, before I click settings, we're, let's click over here to XTool. And let's see what, uh, okay, that's just going to take you to their website. So we don't need to go through that right now. We're going to go out to the vehicle and we're going to uh, hook it up and see what all it uh, does. Oh, just real quick, here's the VCI. This is the BT. Here, let me swap hands. This is the VCI for the BT. It's got a little digital display that would show the voltage whenever you plugged it into the uh, uh, diagnostic port. And then it's got your three LEDs here uh, for when it's connected and powered up and transmit and if it's connected to the uh, tablet. Here's the new VCI. This is the Wi Fi VCI for the W version. Uh, it doesn't have a voltage readout doesn't have anything on the end here uh, but it does have these three LEDs right here to show the power and activity and if it's connected up to the uh, tablet so let's go out to the truck and let's see what we got going on here all right guys so here we are um, and I've got it connected to the truck it connected up real quick as far as the scan tool to the VCI I'm gonna hit auto scan Okay, uh, found the truck pretty quick. Says engine must be off, but I've got it running just so I don't run my battery low. I'm just going to hit auto scan. And you can see that it obviously has topology just like the uh, D8BT did. And it does look like it's going through these modules a lot quicker than the... Uh, D8BT and I will do a uh, follow-up video uh, showing how fast it finishes the scan on this truck and possibly other vehicles and how fast the BT uh, does a scan now the gray uh, modules that you see up there those are modules that are not on this truck this is a LTZ uh, truck uh, but it's it obviously doesn't have all these modules on I think there's a total of uh, 19 or 20 modules that this truck has you can see up in the upper right corner that it's got a that can have a total of 31 modules it is on 28 of 31 29 of 31 30 31 and getting ready to hit 31 of 31 that's scanning and there we go so we finished uh, scanning all the modules you can do a DTC report just by hitting that button and there's all the DTCs that whichever module uh, has the DTCs and what the DTCs are so let's go ahead and go back you can hit list 
and it will take it out of the topology mode and show you the entire list and okay 20 modules is what this truck has on it and it will list the modules that have DTCs at the very top first that way you don't have to scroll through and if you want to see the DTC you can just hit the little arrow and it shows you a nice quick uh, readout of the DTC if you want to go into that module you just hit diagnose and uh, you get right into that module so uh, whoops nope I don't want to do that I want to go back to topology and on the topology whenever you're looking at uh, these icons if you want to know what one is like we'll just look at the the green one here that says PSCM if you want to know what that is you just tap it and power steering control module and that's all you got to do and again if you hit diagnose it takes you straight into that module um, let's go ahead and get out of that looks like system selection is going to be the same as it is that's where it won't do any scans you can just select which module you want to go straight into and that way you don't have to wait for a uh, uh, for it to go through a scan manual selection if for some reason it didn't auto detect your car then you can just go here select the year make model and uh, get it connected up that way and obviously right here you can see that it's showing all the information uh, about the uh, truck and if you wanted to go into special functions you just hit the special functions icon and there's all the special functions right there so it'll be a lot quicker let's go into special functions real quick before we get into live data let's just take a look and see if I see anything okay that all looks like the same thing that the BT has and now we'll go into actuation test. Yep, yeah, I think I think that's probably everything that the that the BT has also. So let's go into live data. Um, we'll just do engine data. We got 73 PIDs here. And it looks like they're all already, uh, yeah, they're all updated and, and counting. So that is pretty cool. Yeah, that's uh, that's about as that's about as fast as you can expect a scan tool to uh, to be. There's no lag at all. Whenever I hit the accelerator pedal, uh, you see the in, the instant change in everything. Just select those pids right there. I didn't even pay attention to what they were. I just wanted to. Uh, select them go over here to graph that's nice look at that you can have eight different graphs pulled up and look how responsive that it that is that's that's amazing um, let's see display all combine You can record them. You can export the data. I've always liked the graphing ability of the X tool tools compared to other tools that I've used. A lot of tools have a delay in a very, I don't know, pixelated graphing or delayed graphing, whatever you want to call it. The X tool, man, it's it's just nice and responsive anyway I think we're we're probably done this video's probably gotten longer than what I originally intended for it to so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, shut her down just to let you see the uh, new X tool 
D8W. W, of course, is Wi-Fi. So, you know, the, the BCI is uh, connected wirelessly through Wi-Fi, not Bluetooth. In fact, let's go back into settings and go to, uh, wait a minute, where was the, uh, let's go here into more, I think is where it was at. BCI management. Yeah, see, it's got a check mark on it now, and it's, uh, I guess it's showing that it's actually connected. Firmware version, latest firmware, current firmware. So firmware-wise, it's all, it's all up to speed, and uh, everything looks good.